what is going on guys we all know that in classic wow world pvp is a huge issue and some classes are just much stronger at 1v1 and world pvp situations than others some of the strongest classes in world pvp would be the shadow priest and the warlock what if i told you that there's a very very easy way of dealing with shadow priests and warlocks in world pvp a way that will leave them wondering why their spells are resisting, why they're doing so little damage, and just what the heck are you doing that's making you, as a player, so, so strong. Well, I'm going to show you guys real quick here what a shadow resistant set looks like against a fully geared tier 3 warlock. Now, as you're watching this clip, I want to point out that every single piece of gear that this character has right now is either found in five-man dungeons or can be obtained on the auction house from world drops. The good thing is for the very beginning of the game, shadow resistance gear is not in high demand. So most of these items that you will find on the auction house will be able to be purchased for fairly cheap. Now, all these pieces will be available at different times in the game. So I'm wearing a lot of the Stygan cloth pieces, which actually can be made from tailoring. These Stygan pieces will be made available after AQ patch. So once AQ is out and you can be farming for your Scenarian Circle rep, you'll be able to get these recipes or have a tailor make them for you. Now these Stygan pieces will be fairly expensive early on unless you go out beforehand and farm the materials. Uh, the materials aren't that expensive themselves, but that is just something to note. Now, there are alternative pieces. Many of them have slightly less shadow resistance um, bonuses to the items themselves. But like I said, uh, within this list of gear that can be found below, you will find alternative pieces that are available. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's a good way to deal with shadow damage from a warlock or shadow priest, like I've said. Um, this set really doesn't take that long to put together, but some of the pieces you might need to wait a little bit longer for uh, to see up on the auction house or things like that. Now, obviously, you can do this with other classes as well. Um, if you want to make a fire set, that can be good. Uh, to do just for raid progression anyways um, and it can help against uh, fire mages who do a lot of damage but other than that i think shadow resist is one of the most important sets as shadow priest and warlocks are just so strong this is obviously coming from a druid perspective i don't really know how viable it would be to have uh, these gear sets on other classes as other classes rely much more heavily on their weapons and they rely much more heavily on the stats that they get from their gear whereas druid is a fairly is fairly gear independent in terms of just having a large mana and health pool is pretty much enough for you to do fine as a druid so i think a shadow resist set for a druid is almost mandatory in classic um, and it will make your life much much easier uh, when it comes to PvPing out in the world, um, you can have this set macroed. You can use an add-on like wardrobe or gear menu or things like that. So yeah, go ahead, guys. Give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to start posting a lot more videos like this and guides to get you prepared for your classic experience and the leveling process that comes along with it. All right, guys. Take care.